So if you were going to do that over and over, you just move this, move your rip that you just done out of the way and slide it back on again. Hello guys, welcome. Ryan Cooper here from the London Craftsman channel. How's it all going? And in today's episode, we're going to be delving into the subject of the stupidly priced £82 Banggood Parallel Guides. And in particular, I'm going to be showing you how they come boxed, how they get shipped to you. I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate them for the thin rips. Again, pretty easy. And I'm going to be showing you how to do the thin rips themselves. Lots of tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, which you probably don't want to miss to make your life a little bit easier. So if you're interested, you want to learn more, well, you better stay tuned. Watch to the end, and I hope you enjoy it. Quick one, stay right until the end because I'm going to be showing you one amazing, ridiculously priced Banggood product that you do not want to miss and you want to snap up before the price goes up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We also have a brand new membership which has got great perks such as shout outs, priority comments, bloopers and uncut footage. For the workshop, spray lesson. Remember, it also helps us out because everything you see behind us is bought with our own money. So, without further ado, let's crack on and get this video started. Okay, so this is how they come. They come packed exactly like this. You'll get eight of them in the box like this in a lovely foam high density box. Really well packaged. It will have a cardboard box around it, nice and solid, and most likely it's gonna have plastic too. So you should get eight of these T-Track sections. You'll get six of these joining bars with the fixings, two of the rods, which are the thin rip rods, two of these tips, and you'll get two of these little nuts that go on the ends. You'll also get the screws to join everything, a couple of T-nut bolts, I believe they are, and you get, what else? You get the body brackets, two of these. These are the main body brackets, two of these edge guard brackets. These are the things that slot into your T-tracks, again, with fixings. You'll have the Allen key, and of course, you'll have the stoppers, four of those. You need two on each to be able to use to be able to calibrate and to be able to do your thin rips. I do have a little drawing which I will put on right at the end so you can have a little look at that to see what the components are called and where they go. But other than that, what we're gonna do is assemble and start our cuts. There we go, we've got our two sections ready to put our stoppers on. So just simply slide your arms into the wrap and nip those up using the Allen key. Next, get your stoppers. Make sure that the nut is facing towards your track. Underneath, you should have had these little T-nuts and just slide them in. One, two. Flip it in its up position and on the front face, line that front face up with the triangle that you see. You should have two triangles, one at 295 and one at 370 something. Do that for the other one. Right, so now I've done that, I don't need to add on any more sections because I'm only gonna do thin rips. So the next thing that we wanna do is calibrate it with our bar, then use the bar to do our thin rips. So let's go ahead and get the bar. If you've got already got it made up, release the nut, slide it through the front, do the same with the other one, and simply just put the nut on the end of the rod, nip it up, make sure the rod's plastic tip's nipped up and the rod's nipped up. Slide this all the way till it hits the back of the stopper and nip up the back stopper. We'll go ahead and do the same to this one. Okay, so now we've done that, to calibrate it, all we're gonna simply do is just release the track away from the main body by releasing these two screws and these two screws. And we're gonna slide it all the way back. One, two, one. Two, slide it back, maybe about a centimetre. Get your square, one that you know is square, up against your splint guard and just slide that whole section forward until it hits your, um, your square. Make sure you do it nice and accurately. Then just simply nip up that main body screw. One, two. Double check it, make sure you're happy. Do it to the other one. There you go, that is calibrated for any use now. For this particular task, we're doing thin rips, we need the bars, but the bars need to be on the underside of the track. And also to set up our measurements, this inside face of the back stopper 
and that is going to be our measurements. Right, you're going to say to me, now our bars are on the top, it's not touching our work. Well, all you really need to do is just release um, the bars, take the bars out, or the guides. Remember, this all calibrated. The calibration is to do with the T-track to the main body. If you move these stoppers, it's fine. Um, you'll remember using the inside face of the back stopper as the measurement for your thin rib. So what you really need to do then is, once you've taken the bar out, flip this down on both. Let's do it to the other side. Flip around. Now let's turn the guide around. Just simply slide that rod back in. Put the nut back on. Slide it nice and snugly up against your rear stopper. Nip it up. And in fact, nip both of them up. Do that to the other one. So there you have it. We're good to go. We flip that back round and let's get set up for some cuts. Okay, so just wanted to show you before I start what it looks like. I've taken off the track. Remember, it's been calibrated, and by calibrated, I mean the calibration happens between this main body and the T track itself. Remember, to calibrate, it's the movement of this main body to the T track. So that's all locked in position. So wherever we put the stoppers, it should be fine. And all you need to do is just make sure that when you use the thin rip, you put the rod in place and you make sure that this nut is up against the back of this rear stopper. That is all you need to do. So now to take a measurement, look on the side and you will see this tape measure guide. And as you can see just there, there's the zero mark. And that is exactly where this inner face of the rear stopper is. And that is where you're taking your measurement from to do your, your cuts. So I need 30 mil. I'm just gonna release that and release that and just slide the whole assembly till I get to 30 mil. Lock it into position. That is it. I'm, I'm gonna do that to my other assembly and then we're good to go. Okay guys, so here we go, the moment of truth. And what we've got here is just a piece of 18 mil MDF. I've got my track and the parallel guides all set up. If you have a look underneath, they're sticking underneath. We get our track on, we're gonna push it directly up to the stoppers. Can you hear it? So those plastic guides are hitting the edge of our MDF. So it doesn't sag down, we're literally just gonna get two little off-cuts, put them underneath, simple as that. And that is my technique to doing it. Before I do cuts, all I need to do is check that my stoppers are up against the workpiece. I've got the saw set up to an 18 mm cut. I've got my CTS hose connected to my ultimate workbench. Also, I've screwed down my workpiece just for safety, just for the sake of this video. Lovely juggly. So if you were gonna do that over and over, you just move this. Move your rip that you've just done out of the way and slide it back on again, like so, until it hits the stoppers and you just keep going and going. And this is what I've got to do. I've got to make some bespoke handles, which are some birch ply handles. I'm ripping up a whole sheet of 18 mil, full rips. So I'm gonna be using my three meter trap and I'm just gonna do the same process. I'm just gonna rip, move it, rip, move it. It's that simple. Just to finish the video off, let's get tape measure and measure it to see it, if it's correct. 30 mil spot on there. 30 mil spot on there. So there we have it guys. These rails are spot on, absolutely perfect. The quality is there. Um, it hasn't got the W name, but it is fantastic, trust me. So there you have it. The ridiculously cheap, Banggood parallel guides for £82. Don't miss them because before you know it, you're going to have to pay import charges. Before you know it, the price is going to go up and you'll be kicking yourself not to buy them. Remember, I've got links to everything on my description in the video uh, from squares to parallel guides, everything that you see here, um, I would actually recommend. So if you want to head down to the description, click on the links. Remember, I do get a tiny bit of commission. So thank you very much if you do that. Much appreciated. All right, guys, so I did say I was going to show you one awesome Banggood product at a ridiculous price, and here it is up in the picture right now um, above. Um, I haven't actually got this myself. I've ordered it, um, so it's just an advisory, 
But go and buy all the Banggood products that I own. I'm sure this one's gonna be awesome too. But other than that, I'm gonna thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Take it easy. Ciao for now.